Cell phone's off. Roll sound and camera. Speed. I've been making films with Delvenny for a number of years now that deal with craftsmanship, doing things by hand, doing things slowly. And the idea and the concept naturally evolved into what has become raw craft. We tell these stories, and we think we tell them in a, in, a, in a unique way. We think we tell them in a way that resonates. It was Anthony Bourdain that sort of helped everything kind of click into place. He's sort of known for being a straight shooter. He's known for being someone who doesn't kind of sell out. So it was important that we found really compelling stories, great characters, and make these films as cinematic and compelling as possible. One thing that really distinguishes this series is the, the crew. They're mainly kind of an independent feature film crew. And these are folks who sort of do things from the heart. We want to make this as beautiful as possible and have it as filmic and cinematic as possible. But we have to stay true to whatever is happening in the moment. So everything that's happening is really happening. It's not staged. We do slow motion shots. We call it craft porn, kind of a romanticized version of craft. And then we just shoot handheld and allow things to transpire naturally. Anthony likes as few people around and it to be as real as possible. He doesn't like staging things, he doesn't like doing things twice, but it also means that we get authentic moments. When Elizabeth Brim is forging metal and she starts tearing up. I would love to aspire to that. I'm very sentimental, I'm very, very compassionate. <clears throat> and I wish I could be a thug. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I get goosebumps, and that's when I know we've made something that's worth watching. Having Anthony Bourdain on your set just makes you have the best lunches possible, because once a restaurant finds out that Anthony Bourdain's gonna be on set and eating their food, they will pull out every stop. So I hope this uh, show just runs forever. Really, it would be great. <laughs> Before we become completely anesthetized to the word craft or handcraft or any of those words, the world needs to know what it really means. Whatever this person's making, it's the best of their kind. You just see people not cutting corners, and they go so deep into what they do. I do find it fascinating, and I find that kind of mentality is fascinating. And it's it's good life lessons, too. You just you just uh, try to aim for that. You know, all, all of the amazing craftspeople that we've gotten to meet sort of deserve great films made about them. And I think the crew and myself feel a real sense of responsibility to tell their stories and do them justice.